Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. And today I'm gonna to show you how to use the map block from Odor. All right, so we are gonna begin from the WordPress dashboard. Let's hover over new and click on post. Now I'm gonna type in slash maps. Now we have two different map blocks. Let's choose the first one. And now we're able to see our map. And if we look over on the right hand side, we can see the block settings that we are gonna to use to configure this map. So the first option we have here is location. And by default, it's set to a street in Barcelona. And of course we have the option to edit this. So I'm just gonna highlight it. And let's search for London, United Kingdom. Okay, so now I'm gonna press enter and you'll see that the map just jumps to London. So this is one way to change your location with this map. Your other option is to use the latitude and longitude fields. So right now the latitude coordinate is set to 51.5. And if I set it to something like 51.4, you'll notice that it will jump to a different location. And the same would apply to the longitude coordinate. The next option we have is positioning and zooming. So we can expand this tab. If we move the slider, we can zoom in and out of the map. We can also use this zoom control on the map itself. It's really convenient to have both options available. Next, we have map height, which could be adjusted using this slider. You also have the option to use this handle to adjust the height on the map itself. Okay, so now we can go over controls, but first let's collapse these tabs. So I'm just gonna click on them to collapse them. Okay, let's go to controls now. So under controls, we have only two options. We have draggable map and zoom control. So currently we can navigate this map by clicking and dragging on it. And we can also zoom in and out using these controls. But if we go ahead and turn these off, then we won't have the option to do this anymore. We cannot see this updating in real time here, but if we click on the preview button and preview in a new tab, we should be able to see this change. So this is our preview. And you'll also notice that we have no zoom controls and the map is no longer draggable. So you can still scroll in and out of this map using your scroll wheel on your mouse or maybe your trackpad, uh, but you just have no UI control on the map itself. All right, so now we can move on to the markers tab. So we can add a marker, which is basically a pin by clicking on this button. So we now have this blue pin on the map. We can also move it around by clicking and dragging. Let's click on this tab to expand it. And now we are gonna add a title. So let's scroll all the way down to the bottom of this tab. And in the title section, I'm gonna type in corporate office. Now, if we want to, we can also add a description as well. So I'm gonna type in something like our headquarters. You can also highlight and format your text by using this toolbar. So let's center align this text and make it bold. Now, when we hover over the marker on the map, we can see the title. So you see it says corporate office. So apart from dragging the marker, we can also add a specific location. So let's go ahead and search for a place in the United Kingdom. Let's try Liverpool, for example. Okay, now I'll press enter. And our marker just jumped to Liverpool. So let's zoom out. And Liverpool should be somewhere in the northwest. So let's just find it. Let's zoom in on the marker. And you can see that the dragging control that says navigate more freely. So if we click on the marker, we can see the title and description. There is also a button to delete it. You can add multiple markers if you need to. To add another one, we can either go to the marker tab and click on add marker or we can go to the map, click on this pin icon on the left, and then click on a location on the map to place the marker. We can see that it has no title as yet, so let's click on it. And now we can move to the block options on the right. Let's scroll all the way down to add a title. So let's give this one a random name, like flagship store, for example. Okay, and we can add a description now. Let's type in only high-end products. We can also reposition this marker by moving it around or you can enter location information in the block settings. And there's our marker information with our title and description. So we are done with this example. Let's go ahead and add a title to this post. We can just call it map test. Let's just get the capital T. And we do not need to preview this. So let's just go ahead and click on publish. Click on publish again. And now we can view our post. So here's our map with the two locations that we set, corporate office and flagship store. All right, so now you know how to use the map block from order. Thank you so much for watching. 